So we are on our way to Richards Bay. That's a first for me. Yep, we've just left Belito. I've never been to Richards Bay myself. And I think it's about a 130 kilometer drive. Not a hundred percent sure. Roundabout. So I'm looking forward to seeing Richards Bay. Yeah, I hope we arrive before dark. It's just after half past four. So depending on the traffic on the N2 I think. And we're sleeping there tonight. Oh yes, yeah. absolutely. So you have something interesting you'd like to share? I have been reading about fields of green gold everywhere. Yes. And I figured out today that it was no, not was, it is sugarcane. Yeah, that's fantastic. And now we see folks walking home with stalks of, of sugarcane. Check his plantations. They are huge on both sides of the road. Yes. They seem to continue for kilometers. Yep. So neither of us have driven on this stretch of the N2 before, eh? Never ever. That's quite cool. Yeah. I got a glimpse of a KwaZulu Natal sunset. Beautiful, right? Eh? And it's warm. That is the most astonishing thing. 20 past 5 in the afternoon and it's warm. Whereas they're all freezing in Cape Town. <laughs> we are freezing back home at this yeah. time of the afternoon. Well, we're freezing all day. This is about our fourth or fifth toll. I can't even remember the count now. I think it's fourth. On this road, it's crazy. 55 Rand 50 at Ntunzini Plaza. The others were a little cheaper. 13 Rand and 14 Rand and such. Yes. Crazy. Research, but it does say Richards Bay is a city, mind you. Okay. Located on a 30 square kilometer lagoon of the Mflatuze River. So it most probably is Umflatuze now. Okay. I'll check in the morning. It's interesting, eh? So here we in another city. Who knew Richards Bay is a city? I did not know that. see any numbers can you I saw number 12 did you okay yeah. we're looking for a number six so we were at the wrong place yes or but it was right next door yep I would assume we park there yeah, but I just want to park here to offload and stuff. But we'll wait for the lady. Wow. Space galore. That's fantastic. <laughs> this is so nice. Shia.
This is so cool. We finally, at our accommodation, quickly ran off to the shop to go and buy some cool drinks and some stuff to eat. I'm going to finish the rest of my bunny chow, which we bought today, uh, which is going to be awesome. Uh, Sonia's got some garlic biltong. She's going to enjoy our bought for her. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to be punished in the car tomorrow with a garlic smell. So, but I'm fine with that. But uh, we will see you guys in the morning and thanks for traveling with us. Starting the day with a cup of coffee and a cup of hot chocolate. Good morning and welcome to Richards Bay. We are going to go and explore it today and see what it looks like. It's a place we've never seen before and I see there's a heck of a lot of industry here. So I think that's going to be very interesting. I'd also like to go and see if we can get close to the harbour and see what we can see there. I know they're always very strict and never let us in there, but we can always just try. It was a comfortable stay for us. Yes. We like the space, right? Yes. Just makes it easier to move all our junk around. And we have quite a bit of it. Yeah, we do. But um, I don't know how we can do without any of it. No, we can't. We use everything we bring. <laughs> yeah. I um, am looking forward to seeing Richard's Bay. Me too. I did a bit of reading this morning um, with my hot chocolate. Yes. And uh, this suburb, our suburb is Merensia. Yes. It's north of the harbour and this suburb was established in 1970. Okay. It was the first suburb and it was followed by Arboretum in 1975 and Feldenfly in 1980. So we were wondering what Mierensia was. Remember last yes, night? Yes. It's our suburb. While well, we were checking the load shedding schedule and we never had any load shedding last night. What a welcome change that was. Sure. Nice sunny day. Beautiful. So look, my first request would be to return to that road we came in on which was the John Ross Parkway. Yes. Because I saw some interesting industry there. Which I would like to observe in sunlight. That's the same, yeah. Porpoise Passage, I love their street names. Porpoise Passage and Octopus Arm. <laughs> that is so cool. It's a city. That's for sure. With a major port, eh? Yeah. I didn't know that. Did you know? Well, then you wouldn't have known that it, it's one of the country's largest harbors and it has the deepest natural harbor on the African continent. Serious? Yeah. That's great. I know. And I mean, I think we've all heard the name. Oh, yes. But nothing more than that. I always thought Richards Bay was like a little holiday town. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we'll see it's not so little. Yep. I was actually surprised to find out it's a city. I believe it's one of the fastest growing areas in the country. That's good to know. Side clipper. We'll see lots of them, I think. Oh, for sure. I heard our one of our hosts, I can't remember who, told us that a lot of coal gets brought down here from up country. Yeah. But, yeah, it's 
very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I read about coal too. And I think how dirty that side tipper was tells us it was transporting coal. Yep. So I read. The port of Richards Bay contains what was once the largest coal export facility in the world. You're joking. Yeah. Largest in the world? Yeah. That's wild. Or well, the emphasis on was. Uh, the planned capacity was 91 million tons a year by the first half of 2009. 2007 we reached 66 million tons. But currently Newcastle in New South Wales in Australia yeah. exported just over 161 million tons in 2016. That's a lot. So there were big plans. Yes. I'm sure there still are, but I, we're not the biggest anymore. Five to eight, everyone's heading to work. Yep. Richards Bay Airport. Hyundai. Hyundai, yeah. Is this the road we came in on? Yes, but we came in that side. Oh, it is John Ross. Yes. Okay. Named after John Ross, his real name was Charles Rawdon McLean or McLean. He, at the age of 15, walked from Port Natal to Maputo and back to procure medicine and supplies for the early settlers. Oh, that's amazing! It's man. incredible. I saw some very interesting things online about Bridget's Bay. Some river or dam or whatever this is, I don't know. It's a river, I think. I didn't see a sign. I wonder if this is the Mithlapuzi River. Beautiful, eh? Yeah. Look how wide it is. Beautiful, yeah. Very pretty. This is a road. Yes. Sand, you see? Yeah. Like beach sand. Yeah, it's like not thick, luckily. But I don't know how often this is traveled. No, neither do I. Might be for fishermen and stuff like that. Uh, Oh yeah, it's just where they come stop and fish. And have parties. Yep, you can see it. Judging <laughs> by the number of bottles. Yeah. No, this is a big river. It is, eh? Yeah. Mm So I just checked the map, it's not the Mflatuzi River, it's just a, a little tributary through here. Not so little. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the map it looks tiny. <laughs> Compared but to the real Mflatuzi? Yes. Okay. Cool. It was interesting. Yes. Pretty here. Yeah. yeah. It's a big river. 
yes it does it looks like some type of little estuary or something that fills up with the tide wood chip glade so this is my first point that I'm very intrigued to see yeah. oh, look at that it's crazy it's all wood chips Five? It's insane, it's like a mountain Richard's Bay wood chip mill oh, That is enormous Look at the heaps Yeah, uh, and now we know all those um, Forests of trees and stuff as we were coming along here those plantations yeah which we don't know which trees they are yeah, yeah. incredible you smell you yes, smell the, the wood. wood yes suppose there's no chance they'll let us in uh, no, I, <laughs> I don't even think you need to ask yeah. okay let me turn around Shall we ask? Oh, they won't. Look at their sulfuric acid plant. Oh, look at that. Oh, well, we can get to see some more. Incredible. Look at that plant over there. There's Sonic for you. Yeah. That's true. Look at all the wood. And the conveyors. Look, it's running with the conveyor. Can you see it running? Yeah, look, it's pumping out that little spout over there into that hopper. Is it? Yeah. I, I don't see it. There, right there. Oh, yes. See if I can zoom in onto it. That is wild. These are literally mountains of wood chips. Yes. All over. I see they export wood pulp too. So I wonder if they make the pulp there. With the acid? With the acid. Most likely. Hi. Hey? Yeah. Fascinating. The railway lines, good lord. Yeah. I hope they still work. Don't think so though. Oh, it's the security guy coming to check what we're up to. Check the steam coming off of these mounds of wood chips. Why would that be? It's been processed through that um, acid plant. Now I wonder if they call this pulp or is this just the wood chips and then it still gets another process. Although it says at the entrance wood chip mill, eh? Hey? Oh. oh, this has been processed then already. Well, the security guy tells us that there are still trains coming in from Swaziland. To bring wood, yes. Yeah. He did mention the Eastern Cape too. But I don't know, these lines look a bit rusted to me. One, two, three, four, five, six sets. Yeah. Now this is very interesting. Very cool. Yeah. Wow. That machine is like riding on top of it. Yes. <laughs> Look how it's pushing it. Yes. It's like a landfall <laughs> of wood chips. It's incredible, babe. Yeah. So he was concerned about what we're doing uh, when we say we, we tourists. I think he thinks. Uh, not many tourists come and check out the wood chips. <laughs> Look at this. Can we take a drive? Yeah, let's go. Oh, there's a stricken truck. These are all the trucks that bring the tree stumps. Yeah. Is there not something wrong with this one? It's stuck in the mud, maybe. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it got stuck. It got oh, stuck. yes. Look, these are the, the trucks.
bikes that bring the wood now. Yes. These are dodgy, eh, with these poles. Oi, oi. They need those Look steel things. Tons and tons and tons. And they Look, babe. Insane. And they get chipped up. I like these trucks. Oh, they look a bit more sturdy, eh? <laughs> this is crazy. What? This is incredible. So they're waiting to offload. Yes. They Check are. all this. Yes. Piles and piles of it. He's on the line, they must probably just move stuff around here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It's crazy. University of Zululand Science Centre. Alright. Is a mine. We saw South 32 okay. in Hotezel. Yes, is this a mine? Can we not just go ask what kind of mine it is? Yes. Oh, you remember South 32? Yes. yes. So apparently it's part of the South 32 mining group, eh? Yes. And they process aluminium here. They don't mine it here, but they process it here. Incredible pipe. Yeah. Mind you? These things are massive, eh? This is all new to us. Yeah. You see, as the employees enter, they have to blow. Yeah, for drug tests and alcohol tests and stuff like That's that. That's fantastic. Yeah. I just like it when things work in our country. Yeah. And this seems to work. Wow. I read, I read a sign saying that that is Foscor there where those pipes are. Oh, that one? Yes. So that's for fertilizer. Really? Yes. That must be a fertilizer plant. Okay. This is so cool. I wonder, to get to the harbour, once we've just checked out Fosco, if we go over that bridge to the harbour. I think you might be right. Yeah. I can't be 
look at the size of these plants. They have had 18 injury free days. Oh, that's fantastic. fantastic. Yes. Look how huge it is. <laughs> Just for fertilizer, one can't figure that out, eh? As far as I know, Foscore is for fertilizer. They may make other products, babe, which I'm yes. not aware of. Grimdrod. Is that how one says it? Must be. Why does this look like something to do with coal? Because it's so black. Yeah, I think you might be onto something. Side tippers again. This is fertilizer. Check all the fertilizer lying in the road. Is it? It looked like it and it smells like it too. is going to be when we come to places like this. We don't have a permit so we're not allowed in. And when I say we're tourists we'd like to see they like look at me with a blank face. What? <laughs> <laughs> tourists or what do you want to come and do here? Yeah. Uh, I read up about the aluminium. Okay. There are two smelters. Yes. They call them smelters. Hillside aluminium and Bayside. And I always, always, always smile when I hear the word aluminium yeah. because I'll never forget how they looked at us in the States when we said aluminium <laughs> and they say it's aluminium. Oh, uh, never forget that. You yeah. remember? Yeah. I still said, hey, look there, when we were digging a hole there and I said, look, there's aluminium and the guy looks at me and says, aluminium. <laughs> he says, in America we say aluminium. <laughs> <laughs> I never hear the word aluminium yeah. without thinking of that story. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hippo. A hippo's mouth is open. Wide open. Can you imagine driving here and seeing a hippopotamus? The answer is simple. No. <laughs> That's I, 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 I won't believe my eyes. But surely all these vehicles will deter them. Or maybe I, they cross at night. I think they do at night, yeah. Or maybe they very seldom cross. this way I think so I know you are looking for fuel look at all these animal skins and pillows and oh. cushions rather than bags property next to ours. Yes. Where we uh, 
uh, overnighted. the monkeys. <laughs> He's the gatekeeper. Yep. He's got his hand on the gate. He does, eh? Hey? And there's you one on the get, roof. You need to get past him first. Yes. Security. Sea rescue. Yeah. So what does RME stand for, babe? For Transnet? idea but this is definitely railway property transnet rme skew rme eu rme q and rme skew <laughs> i'll have some rme skew then yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah no idea what happens here so this is all i can show you of this place they um are very strict here they won't allow us in unless there's a member present and there's no members available to take me in and show me around. Yeah, the security is strict. Very strict. Looks pretty there, hey? It does though, hey? Yeah. I'd really like to take a walk around there. Yeah. So this is the boat club? Yes. Let's see what else we can find around here. A single line bridge has a traffic light. That's cool. We have to wait? Yeah. It has to go green. Can't just go. Okay. And it's low, no trucks over this bridge. <laughs> and next to it is a pipeline bridge. Yeah, look at this. Oh, oh. this is beautiful. Pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, look. Yes. I, I do wonder if they ever see hippos here. Yeah, that'll be stunning. That'll just make my day. So this is Tuzigazi waterfront. Sounds intriguing. It does. Places here on the water, eh? very neat. I like Waterways Estate. Yes, area zero tolerance for any kind of naughtiness I yeah. can read at all take care one hotel waterfront beautiful hey eh? sure green things? Boys. The 
This is neat, eh? Mm, very nice. Okay, let's go to the waterfront itself. Can we first go take a drive past those? Yes. Popeye's best bulldog. <laughs> Tuzi Gazi Esplanade. Oh! My garlic biltong yes. was awesome. Oh, great stuff. I loved it. It's a Tuzi Gazi post office. Oh, so this is where you can launch. So this is the waterfront. This is the waterfront. Okay. We won't launch today. Restaurants. Yeah. Oh. You can still take oh. a drive. Key walk, the key walk. Shops and things. Lots of cars here. Yeah. You see, Transnet. Yes. Operated by Transnet. Lots of um, restaurants here. Yeah, restaurants and pubs full on. Look at the train track. Yes. Backstage. Marine Operations Manager. Maritime House. Is that a tugboat? It looks RB1 like RB1 is a tugboat. Definitely. Oh, it's a police boat in Kosazana. Yay. What's a tuck boat? The Lani. Well, I suppose when the ships come in, they've got to. Yes. You see, this is where the locals come to hang. Yes. Very nice here. Yeah? I like it. I'm going to take a walk there in the waterfront. The food smells delicious, yeah.
Dockside Harbour Cruises. Dive support. Hi there. I'm well and you. How are you? Fine, fine. That's good. Just relaxing. Yeah, it's better, it's better. It's <laughs> a very good place. Yes, yeah, beautiful, yeah. Boats are cool, eh? Very nice, eh? There's three of them there. RB1 is mine. <laughs> Have we ever had Lebanese food? No, we haven't. I don't even know what Lebanese food is. It looks like a wrap. It does. Some kind. I think that would be nice to try one day. Mm. So, the interesting story I have um, as I was walking down that pier, the gentleman that was sitting in that chair. He's a Frenchman. Is he fishing? No. Oh. He's just sitting there next to a yacht. And um, they flew in from France and they were going to take the yacht. It's a friend of theirs yacht who lives here in Richards Bay. Yes. They were going to take the yacht, the three of them, him, his wife and his friend. And they were going to cross the seas to the Seychelles. And they did it and they got about halfway and the seas were just too rough and they had to come back. No way! Yeah. Now what they're going to do is they're going to fly over to the Seychelles and then they're going to go back to France. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have respect for the ocean, hey? Yeah. So was this recent? Like No, no, no. They're waiting for immigration to come and sort out their paperwork now. That's why they're sitting there. Okay. A world we have no idea about. Yep. And he... He says immigration. <laughs> I could see on his face. Not very chuffed with immigration. They're taking yeah. very long. I oh, just hear the word immigration and I get nervous. <laughs> lush. Yes. The word lush comes to mind. So I suspect we're getting down to a beachfront. I hope so. If I read the signs correctly. Zero tolerance. Yes. Intoxicated individuals will be arrested. That's fantastic. On yes. Kant Strand. Okay. This looks like a big parking area. Yes. Zululand Multi Sport Club. There we're getting to all current strands.
looks quite festive, yeah. It does. There, there's the lighthouse. It looks tiny though. Yeah, Is that the lighthouse, babe? Must be. Did you see a picture of it online? No. I read there was one, but I haven't seen a picture. I'll look up now. This is. That's crazy. I'm, that's why I'm heading there now. I didn't know it's quite this big. Oh, look, they're yes. coming with something. This thing is huge. I'm moving, trying to move fast because there's a ship coming here at a major pace. I just want to go and have a quick squeeze there. Oh, there it goes. It's turned out now. Wow. Looks like a transnet boat. Oh, yes, it is. All the fishermen. That's cool. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Saving complex. The fact that they have these big bags of sand packed here tells me that this sea can get a bit rough sometimes. Now this is washed out of it. Look at that. The house of North Coast Radio. Catch the wave. Call those water breaks Dolosa down there. It's like 
so many of them literally thousands of them Strand. Yeah, the little lighthouse was cute. You should have seen the fishermen over there fishing the beach. I think this beach is pretty rough, eh? They got huge sandbags back there. I, I suspect it could be a bit wild. What do you mean the surf? Yeah. I would have loved to have been able to get to Naval Island. They say it's been closed since 2019. And um, they say the reason is inappropriate use but what makes me very happy is they say the fauna and the flora have since been allowed to flourish again oh that's fantastic so that's all it's about really right yeah but it's a pretty now people who appreciate things like that can't enjoy it are unable to because visit. of um, individuals who don't i see they're busy working on it at the moment so what is that, a sea traffic control tower? I think so. I, I have to share a little bit about the history of Richards Bay. Cool. The town began as a makeshift harbour that was set up by Commodore of the Cape, Sir Marcus Eugene Brown, during the Anglo-Zulu War of 1879. In 1902, Cathcart Metvin, the harbour engineer for the Natal government, in his Zululand port survey, recognized the potential of Richards Bay as a new harbor for the eastern shore. In 1935, the Richards Bay Game Sanctuary was created to protect the ecology around the lagoon, and by 1943, it expanded into Richards Bay Park. The town was laid out on the shores of the lagoon in 1954 and proclaimed a town in 1969. Wow, so it's not that old. It's eh? a young town, yes. Richards Bay was named after British Naval Commander Admiral Sir Frederick William Richards. Oh, okay. He had landed troops on the Zululand coast in 1879. After this event, Richards Bay went from small fishing village to a major port which opened in 1976. Huge buildings, huh? Yeah. City of Rotla, It's the Civic Center. Okay. Massive, huh? Wow, what a huge building. Do you see that one in in the front where they're building? Yes. That is a new building for the University of Zululand. Okay, cool. Campus. Yes. I assumed this was part of it. Wow. It's quite a nice building, it hey? It is. I like the look of it. So too. The traffic department, everyone's paying their fines. Yeah. Another busy place. Yes. But not crazy busy. No, exactly. No. It's busy, but it's acceptably busy. <laughs> yes, if that makes sense. Yes. It does to me. Yeah. And it's orderly. Yeah. I'm quite impressed Sounds with that. Sounds like they're very strict here. Mayor Councillor Kolani Ngwezi. Okay. I love that they have super spas. Yes, I'm everywhere. Sorry. I'd give anything for a super spa no, in our town. That's true. I must say, I don't see a lot of litter, eh? 
Yes. Now I like the town or the city. Yeah. And it's clearly a well functioning place. That's true. Getting to the industrial area yes. out there. I think so many people work here. The sports complex is straight on. You want to go have a quick look? Yes. I wanted to say so many people work here in industry. They have to have a bustling town and lots of accommodation options for and, them. And food options. Yes. <laughs> to the Central Sports Complex. And look at all the cars here. Yeah. Clearly something going on. School children. Richards Bay Christian School. We haven't seen any schools, so I'm glad we're seeing this. Right. Athletics. That's fantastic. Look at that. I love sports events. How cool is this? <laughs> so cute to see these little ones running. Isn't up there. it? <laughs> Careful. Nice to see a sports complex too that's working. Yes. In action when we arrive. <laughs> was quite a high note to end our visit on. Yeah, I, really it was our second sports meet that we've seen on this trip. I enjoyed Richards Bay. I'm very impressed with Richards Bay. I think it's an example of a city that works. That's true. <laughs>